Now we're going to talk about the different lighting systems that are commonly found at all airports. Now certainly there's a wide range of airport lighting depending on if you're flying into large airports like Atlanta or Newark or Dulles versus a smaller country type airport. But the basic lighting that we're looking for are the runway edge lights are white and the taxiway edge lights are blue. Now that doesn't change no matter what airport you go to. Now some airports um, will have the edge lighting start to alternate between uh, white and red as you approach the last 3,000 feet of the runway. And then the last 1,000 feet of the runway will be all red edge lights. Some airports have centerline lighting also and if they have that, then typically the centerline lights will follow the same pattern of alternating red and white for the last 3,000 feet, followed by all red for the last 1,000 feet. So basically this section is 2,000 feet long, and then the last section is 1,000 feet long. Okay. Another thing that I want to point out is that many, many airports have reels, R-E-I-L, which stands for runway end identifier lights. And runway end identifier lights are two sequence flashing white lights that draw your attention to the approach end of the runway. So often runway lights are very difficult to see if you're, for example, flying over here beside it. And then by the time you come around on base or final, then you can see the lights very easily. But the real lights are typically seen from off in a distance, and that'll let you see where the approach end or your target for landing is going to be. Um, now, why are the airport lights so difficult to see when you're on either side is that some airport lights are what they call bi-directional or unidirectional, where they only shine, for example, in this area. So you can't see them from the side. They only shine in this area. So sometimes the airports are where the lights aren't when you're far away trying to spot it until you actually get around closer in on base or final. Another type of lighting that I want to point out is the threshold lighting. Your threshold lighting for the approach, approach side is going to be green. So even if, for example, you had a displaced threshold, let's say that this was a displaced threshold with chevrons, then even though there's pavement here, the threshold lighting where you would touch down somewhere beyond that point is going to be in green. And then as you approach the end of the runway, then the uh, opposite threshold lighting would appear red. Now, if you are landing on runway 19, it would be the reverse. Coming from this angle up here, these lights would appear green, and then as you approach the end of the runway, they would appear red to you. Now, also, um, we rely heavily on our VASI and PAPI systems when we come in to land at night. So, a reminder, you're looking for two white, two red, or half white, half red, depending on what the configuration is of the VASI PAPI system at that airport. Um, because it's really difficult to see when you're coming in for landing, it's a little difficult to determine your uh, glide path if you're a little high or a little low. So certainly take uh, the opportunity to use your VASI PAPI system uh, to help you find your way at night. So when you're coming in to land at night, be sure you land between those white lights, not between the blue, because then you'd be landing on a taxiway. So you're looking for those white lights.